Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm Sabah Mkize and this is my channel. If you are a regular digla, a regular liker, a regular sharer, honey. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming back once again, babe. And if you're new here today, welcome to the channel. Make sure that you click that subscribe button, honey, so that you can join the regular degulars. Okay guys, so today is a Sunday. I'm on my way out. I wanna go do my nails and I wanna uh, like get, uh, grab a quick bite. Um, I'm hungry, I haven't eaten all morning. I've been trying to submit assignments. I don't have Wi-Fi yet in my house, so um, I need to sort that out next week. Oh, the machine is making noise. Let's go to my bedroom and talk there. Anyway, so um, I'm trying to submit an assignment, guys. Jenga manch. Um, Let me go to it at the restaurant because surely there's Wi-Fi there. Surely. Okay, let's go. Let's go. But I need to get a DD. Um. Okay, guys, uh, the restaurant we're going to is called Jane's. So, this is the first exploring Liang vlog. Um, let me take off my mask. It looks like it's up there. So, let's go and see. I hope it's. How do I get up there? Or not? 79 bar? Oh, no. It just says Jane's. Let me show you guys. Can I eat? Uh, yeah. Okay. 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 Up. Oh, this is nice. Ooh. Uh, I can sit here maybe. Coffee comes in like a glass jar. Okay, it's good. Please look, I'm drinking cider, water, and coffee. Now that's balance. <laughs> that is balance. Okay, I'm uploading my assignment now, guys. Let me focus. Push you farther away. No, I don't want to play no games. I just want to call, see if we're okay. The food was so good i found a gym the first restaurant i've eaten at here in liang was absolutely impressed just everything like obviously wings and a burger you 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 can't mess that up if you mess that up something's wrong so they killed it and of course it went down so well coffee went down wonderfully now i'm just drinking some water i'm thinking about getting dessert so it doesn't look like i'm doing my nails today guys but we'll see now this is Orlando, my plate. Thoroughly enjoyed that food. It was actually really delicious. Um, I'm thinking about what I need to do. Okay, so I still have another assignment to submit. Uh, but most of the work here yeah, well, is pretty easy. I can do it in a few hours. I want to look around here and see if I can get my nails done, maybe. Um, if not, I'm just going to head back home and... Um, call it a day because it's actually getting late and i want to also stop at the pharmacy there's one right here i want to see if i can get um something for my toe i've got an infection or like a a foot sore so maybe get like antibiotics or something okay mask i need some slippers for the house um like for inside the house because i don't like to wear shoes like when I walk in with the shoes from being outside, like I want to take them off immediately, you know, and not walk around. Just because of the germs and just like, generally it's the Chinese culture. And it's one of the things that I've adopted and I'm not mad at, you know. Um, I didn't like them. I looked at them and I tried to like, the fact that I had to convince myself. The fact that I had to convince myself to 
um, buy them. That means I didn't like them at first. So I'm gonna look on Taobao and order them. And probably they'll be in three days, you know? And at least I'll get something that I like. Let's see what fruits they have. And then I'm gonna go home, cut your ass. Hey guys, I just got home now. Um, just show you the stuff I picked up and then I'm going to finish off my second assignment. Hey, Babo! Hey, Babo! Hey, Babo! I'm getting bigger, like guys. Um, yeah, so I enjoyed the lunch. The food was actually really delicious. Whoa, I was very surprised. Um, I'll definitely be going back there very soon. So I stopped at the chemist to get like an ointment. She gave me an ointment for my toe. Um, guys, if you guys can see it here. Gave me an ointment. Boy, are we lighting? Hello. Hello. There we go. Then plasters and. Oh, sterilizing or rather um, disinfectant. Dis disinfecting um, wipes and things like that just to double to wipe the area and then at the supermarket I just picked up some strawberries some dish cloths you can never have enough of these some cherries sponges cleaning sponges bacon because whoa <laughs> I don't know, it's my but I want to have it just handy whenever I have days where I can just order eggs and food to go buy eggs downstairs. I have like a supermarket downstairs, but bacon is not easy to get in the grocery store downstairs. So, yeah, well, so I got this and then I got these wraps that I bought so much in Hefe and in Beijing. So, so happy to see them here. But yeah, guys, that supermarket was actually really nice. Like, I'm gonna go there more often. Um, and they've got a lot of stuff imported. I saw a lot of like imported stuff. So I was really excited um, I, I, I need to go grocery shopping this week, but first I want to clean the kitchen Someone knock on my door. No, I need to clean the kitchen um, I need to clean the kitchen Cupboards and pockets and clean the fridge thoroughly. Mind you, I did the floors and the counters So now I'm gonna do like tomorrow after work. I'm gonna do I'm a cabete. Uh, like scrub down, get their toll, you know what I mean? And then do grocery shopping. But yeah, I'm just pacing myself and food is not that expensive anyway, so it's okay. I'm getting by. Anyway, so I'm gonna end off this vlog today for today. So Hey guys, so today Ooh, Deepa. I'm so sorry. <laughs> guys, wow. I still haven't done my nails. The lady's like, sets an appointment, sets an appointment, but then she doesn't understand Uguti. Her, like, what the hospital's for, right? And Mina, Mina, what the hospital's for, sorry. And Yena, ooh, Valango hoppers for. And then Saturday, Sunday, last weekend, I couldn't. And then, like, uh, this weekend, I have to go to her face. So I think I'm gonna have to do them in her face. But anyway, let me hold the camera this side. Good going on, Galan. Guys, wait! It's on unboxing! So today is a Wednesday. I'm so excited. So many cool things to share with you guys today. First, I'm going to unbox something that I've been excited to purchase. It's my first one, so I'm really excited. And then the second thing I'm going to share with you guys is while I'm doing my skincare routine. But let me show you guys. Let me show you guys. Let me show you guys. Okay. Niretti. Niretti. Natingwenya. <laughs> guys, uh, I bought something for myself. Let me put you here so you guys can see. So let's unbox it together. Let's unbox it together. Let's unbox it together. Ifigile, 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 ime buk ute uche suham boilanda, ime buk ute uche suham boilanda, I know ime buham boilanda. Let me tell you, I'm giving you procrastinator about gadgets because I always just feel like, hey, in my Guys, I have a lot of limitations when it comes to money. Childhood trauma, just limitations about how money um, should be spent. And I think living abroad 
has really helped me to let go, Gangani, you know? Um, and know that money is supposed to move. I see this thing so clear on lots of money if you can buy things like these that can help you. So this, guys, is my first ever MacBook in life. Okay, I've never owned a MacBook. And now I'm gonna get to edit my videos on this lap, on this MacBook. Why am I looking? Nothing, and <laughs> the hell? Hold on. Let me put you here. Um, okay, like I was saying, this is my first ever MacBook. Um, here she is. Let's open her up. Oh, I knew. There's a little thing here. And then you ruler the baby. Oh, my daughter. Hey, 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 my daughter. Oh, guys. Really excitement, man. Okay. Okay, Spa. Okay. <laughs> oh, Papa, Jess. Open. 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 <gasps> oh, wow. Ah! Gorgeous. Okay, so what's in it? What's in it? Let's see. So first, obviously, the beautiful MacBook Air. Um, this is the M1. Um, and then it comes with the cable lock charger. And what's in here? I think this is just like more info. It's the MacBook Air, 13 inch, etc., etc. All of it. Hold on, I want to see. What else they have? There has to be like the, the main body of the charger. Oh, nice. There she is. And then it comes with the main body. Your charger. Wow! Okay, I'll do that later. Let's put that aside. Yeah, 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 yeah. You wanna play with the big boys? No, 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 with the big boys. With the big boys, ha! Hey, a Tennessee with the big boys. I want to keep that aside nicely. Wow, guys, it's so crisp and light. I'm so happy. I I, I wasn't sure whether to get the MacBook Air or the Pro, but I opted with the Air because like it's light, it's convenient. I can carry it when I'm doing things, um, and I can edit on the go, because I love Oh, there she is. Okay, so I'm gonna put it in the middle. Okay, I'm so excited. Let me get my laptop going and get started. But yes, this is her. I'm gonna do every single step to make sure that I know how to operate it because I've never had a MacBook before. I'm also gonna watch a lot of YouTube videos just to help me. Uh, but it's generally, I feel like the same thing as a normal like Microsoft laptop. Obviously there's more like um, other features and whatever and with my phone and linking my phone. So I'm gonna get that going, but I just wanted to do a little unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing that. And yeah, I'm super proud of myself for getting it done. I needed a little push from my friends, so I'm really grateful for them. And yeah, guys. But yeah, later I'm going to share with you guys more exciting news. But by the time this vlog goes up, you guys would have known. I would have told you guys on Instagram. But I want to actually just give you guys the backstory about how everything happened and stuff. So yeah, let me get this done. I want to make something to eat. Um, I think I'm just going to make some chickpeas in a wrap. And then I'm going to work with the laptop and I have to do some school work as well a lot to do tonight but yeah yes in a laptop I will so today's date is literally the 23rd and um, as many of you may know in South Africa that um, the rapper fashion icon like philanthropist 
flippin' amazing overall entertainer, um, Uri Kirik, passed away. And my heart is so heavy, guys. I keep trying to avoid social media and not see, but it's everywhere. It's everywhere. And I wouldn't be... Um, it wouldn't be me if I didn't actually take a moment to to pray for him and his family. Um, and so I will definitely do that. But I also just want to just have a moment for him and his family. I think it's extremely sad. It's extremely heartbreaking. Um, it talks to... I know that there's so many rumors going around about his cause of death. But there's a lot that has come out about um, him dealing with depression and mental health. And I think that is so... It's like a, like a whole pandemic that is that is taking over our youth. Sorry, it's taking over our youth in South Africa. It's taking over black people, young people. Um, it's crazy. And I think it talks to this limiting thoughts about therapy and this limiting thought about healing um how people i think we don't take enough time like i mean right now we know um if you put your mind to something and you work hard you can achieve things that's wonderful but sometimes it's important to take the time to heal take the time to deal with your traumas um because it comes up it comes up later in your life if you don't but yeah man rest in peace ricky rick Oh, my heart just breaks. The news I really wanted to share with you guys is um, the fact that I'm going to be, well, tonight. Yeah, so when, by the time this vlog comes out, you guys would have seen that I was on um, Unpacked with Ule Busis Lebo on SABC3. Um, I was actually interview, being interviewed by her and um, she was also interviewing another lady who actually went to the same high school as me. We're from the same city and Wagam Kiza. Can you imagine? Um, but it was so beautiful, man. Just the experience. What a humbling experience. I think more than anything, I just felt this huge sense of, babes, you are a small fish in a big ocean, okay? You are small. But I think it's important for me to see that, you know, Haibo, ma'am, you really are in the space that you need to be in. I think God has aligned everything. He's ordered the steps. Um, I think the universe is also aligned for me to do that interview. And I think it was just so important for me as well to know that actually the platform that I've been given, um, being YouTube, um, I need to actually up my game and use it the right way. Um, I mean, I was and I have been, and I think that has paid off. But I think more than ever, I really need to solicit solidify or not even solidify but start to you know see it as a something that i have been it's a purpose it's something that i've been purposed to do god has put this in before me and i and i should really own take ownership and and show up you know what i mean um and not that i haven't been doing that already but i just feel like now i'm going to be even more, more intentional um, I think the actual interview, I haven't actually watched it at this point. I don't know how it went, but when I was there, I remember, um, let me just talk to you guys about, talk to you guys what happened and how like I ended up there. Okay. So basically, uh, the producer of the show emailed me and he was like, Hey, um, I found your channel on YouTube. Um, you know, I, I did some research about other YouTubers in your country, in, in China and i really enjoyed your content i was like oh my goodness thank you so much and he was like i really want for you to do an interview with um unpacked and usislib so anyway we did that and then i emailed him back i was like oh my gosh this is back in december december and they were still fresh i think it was even before shanghai that shanghai trip ne? sorry guys this is i'm drinking water um and some lemon anyway so then i'm like okay um yes of course oh my gosh yes i'm in so he said we do it via zoom and he just explained the procedures etc etc and then okay the day of the interview came I, I remember it was a working day it was a saturday so i rushed back home changed and got ready for the interview i did my little makeup it was so like unbelievable you know and then um 
I was it was my first ever t uh, TV debut so that was really cool and it was really exciting man um the minute um we the interview started we just felt really comfortable and it was really really fun uh we, more than anything it was just like a conversation about how I became a teacher in China um how I would advise people to you know take their action steps to do that but I think more than anything I really wanted the conversation for me to put the cross uh, put the uh, point across that Whatever it is that you want to do, maybe moving abroad or taking a leap towards something that seems a little scary or you don't know what to expect and it's a little daunting, like do not put others first and how others feel about you doing that, you know? Do it because you want to do it. I think for me, it was my part, the passing of my mother, a lot of people around me were like, are you sure you want to do this? Um, your mom just passed away, you need to be go, you need to be staying with family and, you know, he and being here. But the, the move to China for me was my type of healing. It was my way to heal and to mourn. And I knew that I really like had my mom's presence and her blessings and her protection. And I knew that she would have wanted me to do it, you know? And more than anything, I feel like, um, that interview was so like interesting because it was I'm, I'm obviously still in China and Usisi, the other lady who was on the interview is in South Africa but she actually changed careers from um, I think she was doing she was in business and she left business to teach English so also the people who are older who are thinking about changing careers because they want to travel or just want something less stressful do it like I mean obviously be a little bit more calculated with action plans budgets a little better in terms of okay with the move you have to put aside money for it obviously I was very uninformed or misinformed I didn't know that I had to had have some good capital to move but if you are in a position to have the money before you go absolutely start putting aside that money but if you are willing to you know change careers there's so many courses out there to help you uh, jumpstart your career in education or being an expat or teaching English as a second language not only China South Korea Dubai Spain, Italy, so many countries. And so, yeah, I think that was like really a big takeaway for me uh, when I was doing that interview. So yeah, I'm gonna include all these snaps or like pictures that I took on the day of the interview, but it was really, really amazing. Um, so yeah, um, at this point, I know you guys probably would have seen it. So thank you for people who shared on Instagram, uh, the people who actually caught the interview live. The interview, uh, the full uncut interview, will also interview will also be on um, the unpacked. YouTube channel and I'll put all the information in the description box but yeah guys thank you so much for watching I just wanted to have a little sit down and chat to you about it um yeah man uh what a lovely experience onwards and upwards see ya cooler see ya improver and we are doing amazing things in this channel so yeah thank you so much for watching we are on the road to we are on the road to 3,000 subscribers so please make sure that you click that subscribe button and make this channel grow honeys thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next video Mwah.